Jimmy Neutron in Blast Off. Wow, Goddard, this is a blast! Welcome back to Attack of the Twonkies, and now we're in Blast Off. It's like a space shooter section. Press B to shoot a uh, laser. And there is actually um, a trophy if you can do this without getting hit. They're basically, a trophy's basically kind of like achievements. Uh, you don't really know how to get them or what the, the like, uh, thing is for getting one, but you, you're, you get them for, like, doing some tasks. I don't know what all the tasks are. But this one, I don't... Dang it! Got hit. Stop at this discarded space station and pick up some neutrolium fuel canisters to super boost me to Twonkus. Hmm. Better land away from those defense systems that are firing at the meteor storm. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Looks like there is zero gravity here. One of those meteors must have knocked out the station's gravity system. A tether will stop me from flying off until I can think of something. So now we have this tether for some reason. I have to use this tether to keep me on the space station, but it will only get me so far. So what we got here is this magnet. This gizmo piece will come in handy. And now we're gonna invent something. Think, think, right blast! Attracto sneakers. Maybe I can use this magnet somehow. Yeah, we can. The attractive sneakers will keep us attached. Now I don't need the tether. Yeah, we can still jump for some reason. I'll end up in orbit. Oh no! Some of the meteors are getting through the automatic defenses. Goddard, fly around and pick me up at the other end of the station. So how Jimmy is able to be in space? I think I remember this one episode where Jimmy like tries to justify it. But like when he's explaining it, it's like cuts away to something else you can't hear. That's kind of funny though. But anyway, yeah, you can't get there because there's fence things. So it's gonna. Be... I don't know if you need the attractor sneakers in here, but I'm just gonna keep them on. I'm out. These batteries are basically like stuff that powers like inventions and stuff. It'll be useful later. Shut up the laser turret. It's kind of a puzzle. I don't quite know how to do it. I kind of just press buttons until I get it done. There must be a way yeah. to rewire these turrets. No. Oh, okay. I'll take it. It's it's something to do with the buttons and stuff, but I really don't know. Just fool around with it for a while. You'll get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. That has turned them on. Now there's nothing protecting the space station from the meteors. I better get to the fuel cells quickly. So yeah, let's get out of here. And as I was talking about that trophy earlier, um, I have to get it's... across those panels quickly. It's basically just, you know, you have to do that section without getting hit. The trophy's not do anything though, so it doesn't really matter. Of course, this station just happens to have the correct fuel stuff. It's got all kinds of conveniences. But, you know, I'm not gonna nitpick it. It's a tune. It's a game based off one of those. But yeah, we've got everything. I now have enough fuel for the final flight to Twonkus. So we just come over here. That was close! Just got out in time! And now on to Twonkus! What I want to know is how there is suddenly just gravity in Jimmy's spaceship that just kind of negates the need for attractive. Oh, like dome protecting him. Items and space stuff. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Well, there is a cartoon. Still. And. Logic. Behind. Not, and that's too bad. 
And no way, I think I got the achievement. Or not the achievement. Trophy day, because I didn't get hit. There it is, boy! Clock is three! The terrain looks a bit unstable, but I'll take us in for a nice soft landing. So yeah. Last song. Pretty much done. Yes, I did. Smooth flying award. Awesome. I didn't think I'd do it in that second section, because that second section is pretty hard. But whatever. We're actually gonna do three levels in this part because these next three levels are pretty short. Jimmy Neutron in Crater Capers. Well, not a smooth landing, but a landing just the same. Now, how are we going to find our way back after we collect our samples? Oh, I get it. When we're done exploring, we'll let the music guide us back to the ship. Good idea, boy. So you see that this have, this game is somewhat boiled. We're finally here, Goddard. Because that's one plot. Yeah, let's go. Not everything. Yeah, it's fine. Yikes! Locus is really unstable. I better be careful. Yeah, we're on a comet, an icy comet that's doing stuff. Okay. Just what I was looking for. Thank God we can melt free creatures from the ground. Dogs like to dig. Especially robot ones. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. This will upgrade Goddard's digging ability. Anyway. Got now Goddard's excavator. Oh yeah. Go okay, here boy. to excavate and stuff. So we're gonna go in this cave now. Majority of this level takes place in the cave. Can't really get past this so far, so. Should be able to help out here. Why don't we pick up this Goddard upgrade? Hey, looks like an upgrade pack for Goddard. Let's give it a try. If I throw this, Goddard will bring it back for me. Guess I could use it to have him break through things. Okay, boy. Fetch the bomb. Go, boy. <laughs> Good robot dog. I also would like to know how convenient it is to find guard upgrade packs on a remote comet that comes by Earth like once every hundred or so years that no one's ever been to. A mineral! This looks like a job for Goddard! So yeah, red mineral. This stuff looks cool, doesn't it? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And now we got this diamond as an invention piece. I, for me, I keep it myself. But whatever, we can invent an invention now. With using this stuff to create. Think, think. The refractoray. It's basically a beam that does stuff. Yeah, we'll have use for it later though. Anyway, we gotta use Goddard to break through this thing again. So let's use Goddard's fetch thing. Fetch, boy! Fetch! And, uh... Yes, there we go. Now Goddard's gonna break through it, and we can go through it. There we go. Good job, boy! Oh, wow! What is that? I'm willing to wager it's a blue mineral, given that this, uh, objective screen kind of spoils some stuff. You know. Whatever. Maybe I can use the blaster right here. So yeah. It's called the refractor right, not the blaster right. Anyway, we have an invention. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
All right, Spectro Warp B4. Yeah, let's see what this thing does. It, yeah, it kind of gives you a seizure. I'm going to show off all the gizmos, what effects they have, but a lot of them are completely useless. Whatever. Anyway, just blast the pillar if you touch the refractor ray. Get crushed and die. Okay, not really, but still. I don't know how the rocks in the air are not crushed enough. Whatever. Let's just go up. Doesn't look like what happened in the cutscene, but whatever. Let's just... I don't know how you got up here, but whatever. A blue mineral. Goddard can help me now. So yeah. Got excavate mode. Let's do this. Okay, boy. Excavate here. Okay, I have all I need. Let's head back to the ship, boy. Of course, you know this way is going to lead back to the ship. Something to know here is that all of these things are actually super invention pieces that will come into play later in the game. Yeah, we're not going to do experiments on them and research. We're just going to... Whatever. So to head back to the ship, you just... to that chapter. Pretty short. Kinda would have liked to explore Twonks a little more, but whatever. Jimmy Neutron in Crater Boss. My rocket! That monster's destroying my rocket! Hey you! Get off my rocket! Wow, well that was close! I have to get to my ship! If that thing destroys it, I'll be stranded here forever! So the objective here is to make it to your ship. First level, which you can actually get health. And that's there might be health power-ups here somewhere. But yeah, you gotta make it there before he destroys it. And we made it. Yeah, that's all that is, really. If you let him destroy the ship, it'll actually play kind of a humorous cutscene where the ship blows up and Jimmy goes, Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. It just resets. Kind of funny, though, but... Yeah, that's the crater boss. At least it's loyal to the show. But I think that's enough for this episode. So, next time on Attack of the Twongs, we're going to look and see what we got on this planet. So I'll see you guys next level. Adios, home slices.